Holy cow, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a crazy last couple days. I just wanna thank my first 100 subscribers so much. Thank you once again for honestly just subscribing to my channel, giving me your time, giving me your patience, your, your willing to stick around, to comment on all my videos and, and just chat with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I honestly didn't think I'd even make it this far. I didn't even, like you guys are probably thinking to yourselves right now, like a hundred subscribers. So what? That's not a big deal to me. It is. It's a big deal. Thank you again. Because when I first started this channel, I didn't think I'd get to like 10 subscribers. Even I started this back in July and I, we literally just moved back from California. Like I got a job in California. We stayed there for three years. I was like, man, I'm so sick of living here. I was in Palm Desert's right, right next to Palm Springs. It was really lonely. It was really lonely for the longest time. You know, it's a retirement community. It's, there just wasn't really much to do in the desert. And, uh, you know, I was making decent money. I'm a special education teacher. I was making decent money. Um, it was comfortable enough for my wife and I to live. And I realized I was spending so much time playing video games and I was doing a little bit of Lego, wasn't doing as much as I do now, but you know, we just made this decision to want to move back. And by the time we moved back in June, I remember one day uh, in July, I got out of the car after picking up some Lego at the store. And I was like, I looked at my wife and I was like, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. And she looked at me and was like, okay, you know what? And I was like, no, I, mean, I think I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. And, and mind you, I wasn't watching YouTube videos on Lego or anything like that. I wasn't really into that stuff. I just kind of was like, I, I thought I was being original and clearly I'm not, but I was like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna start building Lego and I wanna talk about them and review it and see, you know, where it goes. Like, I'm just, it might be a new hobby. You know, I was, I was really interested in doing. So um, I bought, you know, a few Lego, just started making YouTube videos. And, and, and I was like, I don't think it was, I didn't think it was gonna get anywhere. I thought I was gonna get probably 10 subscribers and then I was gonna give up and be like, whatever, you know? But, you know, let's fast forward. Let's go from July, 2021 to, you know, now it's January 4th of 2022. and. I, I finally got 100 subscribers. Actually, as a matter of fact, as of today, I have 110 subscribers, which just the last three days, it kind of just skyrocketed, which is super cool. So thank you guys so much for sticking around from the beginning and to the new subscribers after the 100. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Honestly, you guys you guys probably have better things to do with your time. You could have clicked on some other, you know, channel subscribe button or you could have, you know, given them your, your time. And, and I'm sure you have a lot of better things to do and whatnot, but just to stick with me and, and, and give me your interest and your, your, oh my God, I just, it's, it's awesome. And, and to me, honestly, and, and I hope this is what probably pulled you in, but my goal was as long as I was going to make videos, I wanted to make sure I was as honest as possible and that I, I stayed, I stayed committed to it. But it, it, it's cool to think that me being me was able to pull you in. So that's, that's a huge achievement. Okay. Um, I don't want to be bought out. I don't want to tell you all to you know, watch my videos and, and every video you watch, it's, it's like, this is great, this is wonderful, I love this, I love that, and that's it. Like, it, it, there's no point of me doing these videos at all if it's just gonna be 100% great. You know, these, these Lego sets I buy and, and do myself and kind of go like, yeah, I had a great experience. Like, I mean, you might as well just not even watch the videos. So the goal was to be as honest as possible and, and most Lego sets I buy, like I thoroughly enjoy and they're a lot of fun to do or they're very simple or they be maybe more of a challenge and, and I have a great time doing them. Most recently I did that Sonic set and while it looks gorgeous, I, I had to be honest. I was like, I didn't have fun building it and that was just me being real with you guys um, and I explained why in that video, uh, why I didn't think it was all that fun. Um, you know, so I, it's important to be real and honest with you and, and that kind of leads me to my, my next point. You, the viewer who is subscribing to my channel, you're watching me probably, you know, every time I post a video or, you know, every couple days or so, but you're probably like, well, who's this guy who just makes, you know, Lego videos? Like, why am I going to invest in his, in his work and why I'm going to watch him? So let me talk a little bit, just a little bit about myself. Um, that way you kind of have a better idea of why I'm here, why I'm doing this. I was a special education student growing up. I had deaf parents. My parents could not hear. Uh, so a lot of things... I discovered were basically through myself or any like that one friend I had growing up. My parents can't communicate with me except for sign language. I, I, I was awkward as a kid <laughs> and uh, I learned a lot slower than most others. Um, in school I struggled and as I got older, uh, my, I remember 
probably around third grade, fourth grade, I got really into Lego Star Wars. I was really into collecting a lot of the, the spaceships, sh spaceships, spaceships, um, you know, collecting all that stuff, you know, the at, -AT and whatnot. So uh, I remember collecting those and building those and having a ton of fun and I loved it. And I was just a huge Star Wars fan. And then obviously, you know, as a kid, you get older, you start looking into different things. And I got really into music. It was, that, that was roughly about the fifth grade. I was playing guitar, I picked that up, and I actually taught myself how to play guitar. I never took classes, I never got into any of that, you know, uh, trying to be a little more um, skilled or professional. I just wanted to learn myself. And uh, it's not even really learn myself, it, like I wanted to, I just, I wanted to, I thought it would make me more creative. I did that for so many years and I'm still playing guitar, I still play music, and so we fast forward from there and we go to uh, freshman year of high school and I remember I was struggling with school so bad that I didn't want to go to school anymore. Um, I, I hated school. I hated being a part of it. I was bullied a lot. I didn't. I just didn't have friends. Um, I wasn't doing Lego like I did as a kid. I was just really into music. So I remember I had you know two, three friends maybe at most. We started a band, and you know that kind of never really went anywhere. But as I got older, and you know I went to uh, another high school because I was ditching so much school. Uh, which in the end of it all, it's it's really my fault. I didn't go. I was I was being a brat about it. But I ended up going to my dad's and I lived with him for a while and he was forcing me to go to school and you know I, I, I started up another band. So what happened from there was I graduated high school and I even though I struggled I was always looking up to my case manager I had you know once again I was special education uh, so I looked up to him a lot and I was like this is this is the guy that really motivated me to keep going and to, and, and to do better and and just, just push myself and uh, I decided I wanted to go to college to be a special education teacher. Now let me take that back. I wanted to be an English teacher because that's what he was, but he was also a special education teacher. I went to college for a little bit and I realized halfway through I wanted to switch majors and become a special education teacher. And so I spent eight years just trying to get a bachelor's degree. Um, like I said, I struggled. I was, I was, I was poor. I was not making a lot of money. I worked in retail. My mom, eventually I moved back with my mom and my mom was, she didn't have a job. She wasn't working. My dad was working, but him and I had a really strained relationship. So a couple years after high school, you know, the music really became my main focus. It was my, my, my main thing I really wanted to achieve in life. I remember being in school thinking to myself, like I wanted to, uh, I wanted to be a signed artist. And, you know, that was kind of the dream of every kid, right? You wanted to be famous or, you know, be a signed artist or a movie star or whatever it was. Um, I just loved playing music so much that my goal was to tour and play music in front of a live crowd every night. And, you know, we were doing that pretty often as far as playing shows and we were putting records out and we still are. The band eventually, you know, we, we got to a point where we were putting out our second album and we wanted to get it recognized by a label. And I remember sending out a couple of uh, demos to the to, to a bunch of labels and one in particular wanted to sign us. We had a couple that were showing interest, but they were like, we don't think we could give you what you want. So Wiretap Records actually uh, listened to our stuff and they signed us. Um, they're based out of LA, but they signed us and they, they took us under their wing and they promoted us a bit and, and you know, now we're signed. So this obsession, that's, that's our band. Uh, punk rock band from Chicago. We we're signed to Wiretap Records in LA, and I was like, boom, right there. Just that was a big milestone for me. That was something I wanted my whole life practically, and and I, I made it happen with my bandmates. Um, we worked so hard for it. Um, but I'm always, I've always been someone who had goals. I've always wanted to accomplish things, and I never wanted to stop. I just wanted to keep going and going and going because it's just to me that's my purpose of life is to uh, satisfy my needs by by achieving goals and. And, you know, another thing kind of like away from that, but it's, it's also making other people happy. Now, and, and I graduate, I, I, I meet my, at the time, it's my girlfriend and, you know, she's my wife now, but I meet her and about a couple months later, I was like, hey, I just got this job in California. That's where I've always wanted to move to. It's beautiful there. And she just agreed. She up and left with me to go to California. And, you know, we spent three years there and I realized over three years, um, I wasn't happy being there. I, I was lonely. I lost not my i didn't lose my friends but i just wasn't as in touch with them i wasn't doing the music i was playing video games day in and day out and it just became this really redundant lifestyle where i just i got up went to work came back sat around play video games go to sleep wake up go back to work come back sit down play video games go to sleep it's it's the same cycle for three years i kid you not and what happened was i got major pelvic pain from this like my muscles were getting so tight because i was sitting down a lot um, after work 
and I literally couldn't do anything. I literally couldn't get up for any exercise. I, I, I couldn't walk around. I couldn't sleep right. I couldn't do anything. And it just became this big issue. And it lasted me a good year and a half, two years. And I'm still not 100% perfect, but you know, it, it's gotten better. To kind of conflict with that, it was weird. My, my wife ended up getting me the Lego Star Wars um, Millennium Falcon, which is the Rise of Skywalker version, not the UCS set. But I remember she got me that for Christmas because I remember going to the store and being like, oh, that looks so cool. Like, I, I really would love that. And uh, she got it for me, and I remember building it, and it was like this overwhelming flashback of, like, building the Lego Star Wars sets. And I remember being like, that was so much fun. You know, and I loved doing it as a kid. And, and when I built it, I was like... I, I was just so lost in it. I was so zoned in. I'd put on some music and I'd start putting things together and I'd be like, this was the best experience I've had in a long time, especially, you know, getting away from video games and just being able to focus on something else that was so fun. You know, you're just using your hands, putting things together and watching your creation come to life. It's amazing. So uh, from there, I started collecting more Star Wars sets again. And, you know, this was all just before COVID. COVID happens and I remember, you know, I wanted to branch out into something else. I wanted, I, like, I, I was not working at the school anymore because they were, you know, having us teach at home. So I was constantly home, day in and day out. It was just like many people out there. I understand, like, it was brutal, right? Um, and I just, I remember wanting to get more Lego. I was bored all the time, and I was tired of playing video games. So I remember wanting to branch out and not only do Star Wars, but I wanted to get into the Harry Potter series. And so I started buying a bunch of Harry Potter sets and I actually realized I had a little more fun doing those than I did with Star Wars. Um, not to take away from the fun of Star Wars, but I just realized that there was so much more out there. And I bought the Harry Potter sets, had fun with those. And then, you know, we decided we wanted to move back. And so we moved back, you know, three years later. And, and sure enough, like I just said earlier, a month later, I start up this YouTube channel, my wife thought it was crazy. Like, yeah, she didn't think it was crazy. She was just kind of was like, okay. And I wanted to start this up. I did it. And it was very, it was very interesting. You know, it kind of had to bring me out of my shell a little bit more and, and get used to talking. I was not used to talking after, you know, spending three years in California. I was not social with people like I used to be. Like, I used to be really loud and like, do, 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 and whatnot. And now I'm just kind of like, eh. But, you know, kind of doing YouTube now, it, it kind of brings that back out of me. I'm trying to find myself a little more. My sister would watch some of my videos and she goes, I know you have a little more in you. Like, she's like, I think it's cool what you're doing, but bring yourself out a little more. I know the potential you have. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I'm trying. So, um, but yeah, so that's a little bit about me. I'm here now and I'm, I'm 100, 110 subscribers in doing this. And you guys are you're sticking with me, which is cool. You're giving me your chance. So what I want to talk about now is where am I at? What do I plan on doing with this channel? And how do I afford all this Lego? Okay. Um, I, I, I think that's the biggest thing is to be honest with you guys and to be very open. I think that's how you create a bond. So here's what I'm doing. I, I'm a special education teacher out in the, the Chicago suburbs. Okay. That's where I was originally from before moving to California. Now I'm back here. I work in the Chicago suburbs. I have a two hour commute every single day to work. I drive one hour there, one hour back. And by the time I get back, I get these really bad headaches and I get really you know, tired and whatnot. It's just, it's a long drive. It's a lot of talking throughout the day. And uh, you know, I've, I've really opened up a lot more because of it, but it's, it's just, it's a lot. Um, so I try to put out videos as much as I can. Uh, you know, Whenever I'm feeling okay to do so, I don't want to put out low quality videos where I'm just kind of sitting there like, yeah, you know, this is, no, I want to be, I want to try to be exciting for you guys. So um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, try to be as honest as possible because that's, that's who I am. I, I tell my students, you know, lying is, is the worst thing. Like I, I can't stand liars. So I don't want to sit here and market something to you guys and just, just to gain subscribers and, and not really be so true. Um, I'm going to tell you the, the truth and, and hopefully you guys roll with that. So, um, but how I afford Lego. Well, uh, here's me being honest with you guys. So currently we live at my wife's parents' house. Um, we, we make money together. Um, I make roughly 3,800 a month. All right, as a, as a special education teacher at a high school with a bachelor's degree and a couple of extra credits. I make about $3,800 a month. And what I do is I don't pay rent here. I'm very blessed. I know it's not the case for everyone else, but you know, everyone's got their own way of doing it. So what I do is I take 
$1,000 out of every single paycheck. And I put it in the savings because we're saving up for a house right now. We want to get a decent house where we're able to have a basement, you know, in a nice backyard and whatnot. Um, her parents are just really, you know, good to us. They're very, you know, giving and, and supportive and they know I do the Lego stuff and they, you know, they're all about it. Um, and what I do is I, so I put that thousand dollars into savings and I pay all my bills. So I pay car payments. Uh, I have about a $444 car payment. Um, I pay car insurance. I pay all my gas. I pay most of my food. Um, and, and I, I pay for college student loans, but I'm always paying everything on time. And, and once that stuff is all taken care of, plus that thousand dollars is put away, that's when I go out and I'll, I'll buy a Lego only if my wife and I don't have plans for like the next two weeks to really go out and do something crazy. Um, so I'll, I'll go out and drop maybe $500 at most on Lego, uh, just to keep me busy for the next couple of weeks and, and, and go from there. So two weeks go by and then I get another paycheck. I do the same thing all over again. I'm saving for the house. I pay my bills. I buy Lego, save for the house, pay bills, buy Lego. So I buy Lego and I build it in this small room right now. Um, it's it's really tiny. It's got like no desk in here. I basically do it on the floor. You can see right here, I have my hotel modular um, being built right here. And uh, it, it is what it is. You know, I'm not paying rent, so I'm very appreciative of it. And uh, you know, all in time, once the stuff gets built and it's done being reviewed, I put it in the box, I store it away in storage. Um, that way I just keep making room for more Lego. Um, so eventually when we do buy a house, uh, I'm, I'm hoping by March we'll have a house. I, you know, it's hard to say, but the housing market is awful. It's terrible right now. You can't like find anything within a reasonable price that even looks somewhat decent. Uh, everyone's jacking up the price and it's, it's crazy. So we're kind of holding off. Like we could buy a house now or we could even choose a rent, which I don't want to because then I'm not saving anymore for a house, but I could buy a house now, but I don't think we'd be very happy with it in the long run. So, um, that's kind of the step we're going in right now. And, um, so, I mean, you're, you're probably, you know, wondering why am I telling you all this? Why am I, why does this matter? Like, honestly, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because at 32 years old as an adult and I, you know, work a career, I went to school for this and, you know, not everyone goes to school. They choose to take up a trade or pick up a trade and they, they do that, which is awesome. Um, in life, you're going to do work and the realistic point of view that I have, you're going to work for everything you have to do. So where I'm at today, like I, I work with a lot of students and they don't understand the concept of money. They don't understand the concept of how you afford things. And it's, I have a great relationship with my students. Like I, I get along with them so well and they love being in my class. They tell me about it all the time. They're like, oh, your class, I'm so, I'm so happy to be in your class and you're my favorite teacher, you know? And I'm just, it's because I'm so honest with them. I teach them things that they don't really learn in school all the time. And so the concept of money you have to realize that money just doesn't grow on trees. It just doesn't like, you can't just go out and buy a Ferrari. You can't go out and buy like a Hellcat, uh, whatever it, you know, they, these are things that I hear from them all the time. And I'm like, this is what it is. You're going to have to achieve things in life, persevere. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to work hard and you'll get the things you want just by doing so, you know, you'll get help along the way. You know, if you know, you're fortunate, like I'm, I'm blessed. I am super blessed. This is not a common thing where parents just let, uh, you know, their adult child live at home with them or especially a married group, but I'm blessed. All right. And I, I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I understand what it's like to be someone else who doesn't have this. Like I, all power to you. Um, but this, this is the reality. Okay. Um, so like I said, I can go buy a house. I'm waiting just a little more just to get the, the right house. That's all it is. I want to have a basement, so I'm going to have this hotel and all my other Lego sets. I have the Harley Davidson up there. I have the Bugatti, the ship in a bottle, and I, I just have tons of Lego, and they're all stored away, and some of them are in here, and they're all going to be set up in the basement. And people are going to eventually watch my videos. You know, as I keep doing this, they're going to be like, oh, dang, that's a lot of Lego, and wow, man, how'd you afford all that? And I'm like, honestly, the truth is, I worked for it. I worked real hard. I, I go to work every day. I, I do my job. I, I studied to go, you know, in, in college, I studied really hard and I just, I did my best. And I just want, you know, as a young adult, as a teenager, or even someone who's my age or older, keep going, keep pushing, keep trying. You're going to get there. You'll be able to afford the things you want as long as you work for it. Show that you show yourself that you want it. All right. Don't stop. 
don't let up. This channel, I kid you not, I, I said it earlier on, I didn't expect to have 10 subscribers. I didn't give up. From July to January of 2022, I finally just got to 110 subscribers. All right, so with that said, it only goes up from here, okay? I've, I've seen fluctuation, like don't get discouraged. Like I've seen some, like a, uh, a fluctuation in subscribers from you know all, all this time in between, like I'll, I'll get to like 73 and then I'll drop down to like 68 and you know, back up and it's just, it, it's, you just gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Don't let anyone discourage you. Don't let anyone tell you it's not worth it. It's it's fun. Like it's, I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm, I'm trying my best. I work my hardest. I do what I can with what I've got. I build on the floor. I dust it off and I take it into the bathroom where there's proper lighting. I got this little white table that I do, like I'll put the Lego sets on and I'll review it there just because it looks somewhat professional at most with what I have here. And and I just do with what I got and people like it, they subscribe, they they go from there, you know, or I go from there, I should say. Um, and I'm always experimenting with new things. I'm always, I, like I've done scripts, I've done non-scripts, like I'm trying to figure it out. But if you're looking to get to where I'm at in the sense of like, I wanna be able to afford all this Lego or I wanna be able to buy this or buy that, work. Work hard, keep doing what you need to be doing, all right? Um, it's, it's so easy to kind of get blinded by a lot of the big YouTubers, which I, I want to clarify real quick. They're, they're amazing. Like they they've done some great stuff. They've, they put out great videos. They worked hard probably, you know, to get to where they're at and all power to them. Um, but we kind of, I don't think it's very often we see YouTubers kind of put out their story. They don't really put out their in between of how they got there. It's just kind of went from zero to one, like, a million or you know zero to a hundred thousand subscribers like that you know like you do see some grow over time but you never really see the in between you never really see behind the scenes of everything and this is what it is for me now so if i was to ever make it to like a hundred thousand subscribers and i get like millions of views over time whatever like this video will always be earlier on in my catalog like it'll be there you'll see it you'll see where i came from and this is what it was like i worked to get to where i'm at so i'm hoping this is a kind of an eye opener for some and uh yeah, but this is this is where I'm at. Thank you so much. Like, thank you, thank you. Like 100 subscribers. It's crazy, it's crazy. Like I said, I know it's probably nothing to you guys, but to me, like I did it myself. I did it myself. I put my work out there, and, and I at least had 110 as of now. Say, hey, I'm interested in watching this guy's videos. Cool. Thank you so much. And where this channel goes from here, it just keeps growing. As long as I keep doing it, it's going to keep growing. Um, you know, I'm part of this, uh, group on Facebook called crazy a fall. It's awesome. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I actually joined it just like what a month ago, maybe. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's really important to network, to chat with people, to just really bond with people as much as I can. Um, there's people out there that share the same interest, talk with them. And I think when people post comments or like not even comments, but they'll post a status on the group and they'll say like, this is the Lego build I'm doing today or whatever. Like, it's important, acknowledge it. They went out of their way to post something because they want that feedback. They want, there's something, right? Like, I think that's what we all really want in life. We want some sort of acknowledgement. And and honestly, like, to me, it's very important to acknowledge that. Awesome, man, I can't wait to see that, you know, build being finished, you know, or get finished. Like, I'm excited to see it. Or, you know, how, how was that trip? How was, like, whatever it is, like, you know, whether they went to Legoland or whatever, like, it's cool to, uh, it's cool to hear that, I think, just to, like when I post something, I'm like, you get that acknowledgement. Like it's, it's so satisfying. There's a lot of, uh, you get that happy feel, you know? So, um, it's important to me to do that. And, uh, when you comment on my videos, it's important me to acknowledge every single comment that comes, you know, comes my way. I don't want you to comment and just, I'm <laughs> like, whatever, like, you know, it's, I think you're, you know, you're reaching out to me in some sort of way, whether it's feedback and opinion or whatever. And I always want to respond with respect. And you went out of your way to comment on my video or my status. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, you didn't have to. You, you could have been playing ball with your friends or playing a video game or spending time with your family. Thank you so much. So that's where we go from here. I'm going to keep doing it. I hope that you guys stick around for the long haul. And this, this is going to grow. It's going to grow. I'm going to be out of this room at some point. I'm going to have a basement. It's going to look really nice. And I'm going to get these Lego sets set up and just keep putting out different kinds of videos over time. As of now, I, I work with what I have. I could do reviews and, and whatnot, but it's gonna grow. It's gonna become more over time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, take care. Peace.